Hey, what's happening, people? Today we're going to explore some uh, product uh, photography, and uh, I believe any uh, like all the photographers should uh, be able to take some uh, uh, pictures with products, and uh, you should have that in your portfolio. It's a very lucrative market, and uh, with just a little bit of equipment, you can achieve a very high-end uh, professional uh, uh, pictures. You don't have to buy more equipment that you already have. The only thing what uh, I'm adding to uh, to this shoot is the Translum uh, from Savage. And it's something like a roll of this uh, uh, Translum material is a diffusion material. Uh, everybody should have on hand because I can use this with a product, I can use this with the people. I use this a lot with the uh, portrait photography and um, sometime during this shoot I'll, I'll switch and I'll take a, a portrait uh, using the, the transform with the saw box and you see the results. Today I'm going to take some pictures with uh, an electric uh, trimmer. Uh, the shape of the uh, of this uh, trimmer is uh, very nice and uh, we're going to be able to use some uh, creative lighting you know, to uh, show the roundness uh, of the the object and uh, it's very easy to achieve just with the correct placement uh, of, of the light. I'm gonna use maybe one or two lights, we'll see what we need. I'm using the AD, the Godox AD200 because this is my favorite light and I don't think there's any other uh, small light like this to compete with the AD200 special with the exposed uh, uh, lamp. I think it feels uh, the inside of any soft box is so good and you have a very nice soft uh, light all the time. I also, I'm gonna use uh, my Canon R5 with a 100 millimeter macro lens because you know, you always uh, gonna use a, a macro lens for a product or a food photography. And uh, also I'm gonna tether the, the shoot to my laptop uh, via Capture Run because it's always uh, good to see how the finished product uh, are gonna look. And uh, I'm gonna have a better understanding, you know, like the small details uh, uh, there uh, illuminated correctly in the uh, final shot. For this shoot, I'm gonna use a black uh, background and a black uh, surface. Kind of I wanna have everything, you know, uh, on black. You can do the same thing on white, but for this purpose right now, I'm gonna use the, the black because I think it looks more uh, uh, punchy. I'm using uh, this uh, high reflective uh, uh, plastic uh, as a base. You can get this on Amazon for like 12 bucks. They sell uh, a kit, a, a black one and a white one. And um, it makes it a, a big difference because when you set your object on it, you know, you can get the reflection on the base and it looks more high-end and more finished uh, uh, on the final product. Also, uh, very important before you do any setups, you know, uh, you gotta dust off everything because all these uh, high glass surfaces, we're gonna show any dust specs. And I think the most important thing, you know, when you uh, photograph, uh, any uh, object with um, a glassy surface, you have to clean it to make sure that you know all the uh, fingerprints, all the dust specs are out because they're going to show in the uh, in the pictures. You're going to spend more time uh, uh, cloning everything out in uh, Photoshop later. The high reflective uh, object like this, you know, they reflect everything what is around them, and it's why you kind of like have to box them in with a different you know diffuser and uh, modifiers to shape the highlights in, in the, the surface because that is like if you're going to have a light to your left or anything like uh, something plugged in a lamp by mistake you're going to see it in the uh, in the high glossy surface here so i'm going to uh, set the uh, my trimmer here at the end of the base everything is clean and nice uh, i'm going to shoot at an angle so the Everything we're gonna with my background and the reflective plexiglass, uh, we're gonna merge together and we're gonna look like uh, uh, one, you know, uh, long sweep of black, and uh, my uh, uh, trimmer are gonna be in the center. Now I'm gonna have it very close to my uh, transform, my reflective uh, material here because I need to have the source of light very close to it to be, you know, softer, and also I want to create a gradation of light. Uh, to kind of like give shape uh, of this um, uh, trimmer. So I'm setting up my camera 
uh, a little bit higher than my uh, trimmer here, the object I photograph, because I want to get a little bit of the top of it, so we have a more uh, 3D dimension. You got to show the sides and the top, so it had uh, a little bit more body and uh, and it show more feature of the object. My uh, light is a, um, a 24 by 36 inch uh, quick cell box, and I have an 80 to 100 uh, on it. Uh, I am positioned the subbox right with a one inch right against the, uh, my translum material, and I have it angled it in, uh, away from uh, uh, the diffusion material, and this way I create a gradation and um, on the other side, you know, on my object because on this edge is hotter, you know, it's closer to my object, and on. Uh, on this, uh, the other side, on the right hand side, being away from the uh, diffusion material, we're gonna uh, fade away. And now all these diffusion materials, all the translum here becomes a huge uh, cell box. So we're gonna reflect in the shiny surface of uh, the, the trimmer. And I'm gonna have a nice graduation from highlights in the back, kind of like, and we're gonna wrap around in the front and uh, we're gonna fade away. Because of the uh, edge of the sound box is somewhere here, you're gonna have a nice highlights, you know, to separate it from the black background on the uh, right hand side. And we're gonna fade nice away, you know, on the face. And the front, we're gonna have that nice uh, dark shadows here. And now we have to do something with the left hand side. And always, you know, because you wanna use reflective surfaces, you know, to shine the, the light uh, back on. I'm gonna use this card. You can do these cards, you know, homemade, I don't know. You can do whatever, like, you can buy them or you can make them, you know, it's the same way. And uh, I'm gonna place it very close to my object. Also, I angle the one side, you know, to kind of like shine some uh, uh, light back in, um, in the front of the uh, razor here catching some of the lights where the uh, transition goes, you know, because the right hand side, it is, um, the, the highlights are brighter and it fades away and I want to pick up on uh, on the shadows I like where the highlights are more uh, less intense. I want to pick up the, the light and um, bounce it back uh, into the razor here. I'm going to take a picture to see how it looks and uh, we're going to start making adjustments uh, from there. I really like how the right side uh, brighten up right away. You know, we get the, the shadow, the transition here on the corner to show the, the shape of the object. The reflective card is in the picture, so I, uh, I got to move it back. I like how uh, nice and uh, uh, detailed is the, the top, uh, the, um, the grill in the top. I like these little uh, shadows on the side here. I like the little uh, highlights on the side. And I'm gonna move the car back and we're gonna adjust from there. So in order to uh, give more interest to the picture, I'm just using some props. Uh, you get uh, these props uh, on Amazon, you know, they're like photographic props. They have different shapes and uh, uh, colors to spice up a little bit any product photography. You can use it to put your perfumes, lipsticks, whatever you want and, uh, and all these shapes. So it gives more interest. And just because I want to give a little bit more depth to the pictures, I'm using these shapes. I'm using two of the attachments uh, goes with this streamer, you know, to uh, showcase them on this little uh, cube. I turn the, the cube uh, with the corner towards the camera to, to give a little bit more shape and uh, to make it uh, look more uh, interesting. And also I'm using this uh, white ball in on the back because I'm going to like to balance the white reflection you get from this cube in the surface, you know, in the black surface on the other side, so it, it looks more balanced. And I'm gonna take a couple of pictures. I'm gonna put my uh, reflector uh, back on and I'll see how it looks. Of course, for a product like this, you have to show all the attachments and uh, the, uh, the only way to make it looks nice, you're gonna do a, a flat lay. I'm gonna change the um, a black uh, surface with a white one. I'm gonna uh, lay out all the attachments, take a picture, and uh, I'm gonna use uh, uh, one of these images, you know, to uh, uh, overlay in Photoshop uh, next to the attachment, so uh, it look more coherent.
So just to show the versatility of, of this setup, you know, I, uh, I'm having Eric right now posing for us. Uh, I just raised the sub box a little bit higher and I spin it uh, from vertical to horizontal because it just shows the, the portrait better. And uh, I have it just the center of the uh, light is uh, a little bit higher than his uh, head level. I'm shooting with the Canon R5 and a 100 millimeter macro lens. Uh, my flash setting uh, right now is uh, I'm shooting at uh, a quarter power on the flash through the uh, Translum um, diffusion material and uh, the outer uh, baffle on uh, my softbox. I'm using this uh, reflector, but it's a white reflector just to uh, push back some uh, light, you know, on uh, his face. And uh, I have uh, maybe two feet from the transformer here. I'm gonna take a couple of pictures because I wanna have a nice graduation around his face, the same way we, uh, the same technique we use for the product uh, photography. And I'm gonna take some uh, picture. Just wanna make sure that the flash works. Beautiful. Eric, just turn the face a little bit towards the uh, transform material. Big smile, big smile. <laughs> no, this fake smile. Yeah, this is it. So you guys, you can see it's a very good uh, way to uh, take some super nice uh, diffuse uh, light portraits using the, the transform. It's just a bonus, you know, and you can use it for your product uh, photography. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my channel for more lighting tutorials and gear review. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. <music>